Hey, it's the Terminion Hero here, and we're playing some more Ratchet Deadlocked, and we are headed to Ghost Station. Ghost Station. The Ghost Station is haunted by the angry spirits of Dreadzone's fiercest warriors. Can you survive the station's gauntlet of doom and find a way off this forsaken place? Yeah, I probably can. So use Hunter Mine Launcher, yeah, we'll check into these later. Your combat bots must gain 10 kills in any challenge. Interesting. Complete any challenge using only the dual vipers. If I do a challenge that, or I don't use any weapons, does that count? Like if I'm in a vehicle the whole time? Or do I have to defeat at least one enemy with the dual vipers? Destroy five bolt crates? Do you mean like the jackpot crates? Because there aren't like normal bolt crates in this game. Okay then. Let's go to Ghost Station. So apparently this is like that one part of Metal Gear. Where it's like, oh all the enemies you've defeated are back now as ghosts. Kind of. My friends, it is a black day for Dreadzone fans across the galaxy. Ace Hardlight, champion exterminator and respected philanthropist, was brutally cut down by the maniac contestant known as Ratchet, aka the Butcher of Bogon. Fans reacted to Ace's defeat with shock and outrage. <laughs> Boo! We hate you, Ratchet. You cheated. Ratchet is a malicious criminal. He must be punished! Bowing to public pressure, Gleam and Vox acted quickly to address the issue. Fans of Dreadzone, I share your pain for the loss of the mighty Ace Hardlight. I encourage you all to express your grief and sympathy by purchasing this limited edition Ace Hardlight Memorial Action figure on sale now for only 299 volts. A Vox News investigation later revealed that Ratchet used banned performance-enhancing drugs. In accordance with Dread Zone Regulation C6-5-9, Paragraph 2, Ratchet has been sentenced to meet his fate on the Gauntlet of Doom! This special event will be broadcast live tomorrow night only on Dread Zone! Some blar awful station out in the middle of nowhere. Ratchet and Clank, aka Team Darkstar, have conquered nine planets, survived hundreds of arena battles, and even defeated Dreadzone's grand champion, Ace Hardlight. Who would have ever imagined this? Now, in a drastic and downright vindictive move, Gleam and Vox has sent Team Darkstar to the Ghost Station. The course is unbeatable, unbearable, unthinkable, and I'm having an aneurysm just talking about it. Do not worry, Ratchet. I will make sure you get out alive. My nav grid shows an abandoned supply ship on the other side of the station. There is a grind rail nearby that will take you to the station's core. I will give you more information when you get there. Alright, so of course there's nothing to buy. It'd 
be good to use my dual vipers since I need to do a mission with just them. We can freeze these ghosts. But, you know, we could also have our bots fight them. Since, you know, that's a skill point too. I'm pretty sure that the bots defeating these guys doesn't ruin the whole skill point for the ice. Come on bots, get the swarmers. They're easy targets for you. Please go for the swarmers. Oh my gosh. Do we? I didn't have to revive anyone. What are you doing? What are you doing and where's the other guy? Get over here. Why are my bots freaking out? One is actually missing. That's not supposed to happen. Ooh, I need a medic! Okay, I'm dead because I tried to have my bots fight while they were glitched out. Something up. Now can these bots not glitch out this time? I would really appreciate that. Okay, that's not a grav track there, apparently. There's no enemies for my bots to fight. Alright, they can fight some here. They could do some damage with that Ravenger. I'd say this is doing okay. Splattered halfway from here to Florano. Why don't we skip it and head back to my condo for a cocktail and a dip in the jacuzzi? Mm -hmm. No, uh, I prefer to stay here where the real action is. I like how they just, you know, name drop all the different, like a bunch of different planets and galaxies and other places from the previous games. Now come on, buddies, I need you to actually defeat these guys, okay? Can I walk out there? Or would that be death? Well, 
let's take out these guys first. Surely my bots can handle them. How long does it take for a bot to take out one of those ships? Looks like we're about to find out. Alright, going out here doesn't kill me. Is there anything interesting at the end? Like a jackpot crate or something. Doesn't look like it. Okay. Ow. I could definitely use some health. Bots, please take these take these guys out for me. Do I not have the skill point yet? What are you doing just hiding over there? Okay, I got that skill point. Good. Now I can actually fight myself. Another grind rail, is this to the end now? I think it is. Put them on ice. Get in skill points without trying. Yeah, here's the end. You know, I was just bluffing earlier. I knew Ratchet would pull it off. So, about the cocktail jacuzzi thing. And I got the thing for just using the dual vipers. Awesome. Oh, isn't that a shame? Team Darkstar's only escape has been cut off. Wonder how they'll get past this one. They are on to us, Ratchet. Dreadzone has activated a force field blocking you from the supply ship. However, if you can capture the control nodes in that quadrant, I believe I can override the force field. Alright, I don't know what other weapons I should use now. That's only level 7. That's only level 5. Let's use our Arbiter then. Sir, if we don't make it out alive, I just want to say it was an honor serving with you. You too, Green. But don't worry, we're gonna make it out. So we can walk on the walls here for some reason. As for why you'd want to do that, I don't know. I think some walls might have, like, a jackpot crate or something. Oh, 
that skill point must have had to do must have had to do with the napalm mod. A lot of the skill points are basically just play this mission with this mod. Yeah, there's a jackpot crate up on that wall. Run, Ratchet, run! Did you see what I did there for a second? I was inside the shield. Another napalm, napalm mod related skill point there. I wonder what the difference is. Let's just keep going around. I'm gonna keep using this weapon because I want to level it up. Doesn't look like there's any jackpot crates in here. But yeah, look, I can be protected. It's just a nice little strategy there. So there are swing shots out here. We'll go over there later. First, let's finish up this section. Yeah, there seem to be no more jackpot crates on those walls. I think explosions are pretty. Okay, so we've got all the stuff here, but there's still a few more enemies. There was a jackpot crate there. And this is where we started. Might as well buy some ammo. Remember, don't try any of this at home. Go to a friend's house. All right, I'll fight whatever enemies are in this spot, if there are any so far. Looks like nothing right now. We'll have to go down that way later after we get this last node here. Let's not screw this up. I wonder, could you land on the grind rail and have weird stuff happen? I'm definitely not about to test that, but I'm curious. You dare. I will not let them destroy me with turrets. The turrets can be so annoying. I 
one, I mean, I, I could use the turrets myself. But then I wouldn't be leveling up my weapons. I think I just got a skill point for taking down those ships. Now before I actually get this bolt crank, let's go around the outside and see if there's a jackpot crate. Yes, there is. I had a feeling. Anyone else coming? I could hear gunfire, but I couldn't see anyone on my radar. Huh. Anyways, we can keep going now. As this way is now open. There's like no little jackpot crates hidden in the corners here. Okay. Yeah, look out, bad boys. There we go, I got all the jackpot crates. Saved my little buddy there. That needed a revive, and I'd say we're good to finish this. Ratchet's got this match on ice, ladies and gentlemen. The juice is cold, and the generic brand X gelatin is definitely jiggling. Pause, I wouldn't worry. Were you? No, not worried at all. It's not like this challenge is impossible or anything. Nothing's easy in Red Zone, baby. Team Darkstar thinks they have a clear escape, but come on, folks. We're not letting them go that easy. I mean, this whole battle course is intended to send them to the grave. Oh dear, you are still stuck. It appears there is a six-phase Theta Glyph encrypted force field blocking your escape. I am unable to crack the encryption from here. However, if you destroy the encryption computers that control the force field, that might short it out. Sir, request permission to begin hacking. Sure, hack away. We need to hack our way out of this room. There's the enemies. We've been getting a lot of skill points. I don't know what skill points are left. Bypass complete! Two orbs to go, sir! Almost there, sir! One more orb and that door's open! Well, it looks like that door's open. I don't know why that one isn't. I guess that one is purely for multiplayer. So what other weapon was only level 7? This could be a setup, sir. Last thing we need is to get killed in some tragically ironic way. I'll check when there's not, like, a bunch of enemies after me. Here we go. 
Ah, the B6 Obliterator. Yeah, that one would be a pain to level up because of the limited ammo. But I've got enough ammo on the Arbiter here that that's not really being a problem anymore. So it looks like there's some sort of ships here, but we apparently can't drive these. We need that one that's behind the force field. Not that these would be able to fly out if the force field was there anyways. So here's the area we couldn't go through before. We've made our way around it. And the stuff we've got to hack is up here. Look at that, I'm out of Arbiter ammo. No, I'm not. Never mind. I was gonna switch to the B6 Obliterator. Is unstoppable. Yep, I just get ammo too easily now. Do I need to, like, blow up the computers or something? Yes, I do. Is that all you got? If we just battle in this room, the computers will blow up on their own. Just being indirectly hit from the chaos. I don't think blowing up that computer was even necessary. They're not even making us go back to the ship. We're just done there, apparently. The impossible has been achieved! Team Darkstar has actually survived through the ghost station's infamous gauntlet of doom! It looks like it's all over! Or is it? Ratchet, we must make sure they can never use the station again. Destroy the station's outer turrets that guard the power cores. Then, destroy the central core and bring the station down. We will deal with Vox when you return. Parents with impressionable children may want to turn off their hollow sets now. <laughs> children with impressionable parents may want to pretend they are watching the reading robot. Okay, so where's my targets? I believe I'm going for these turrets right now. There's a couple different targets we want to hit, and I can start hitting some of them ahead of time. But right now, I'm pretty sure I'm going for the turrets. Or am I not? Am I going for these? I'm going for those, okay. So these are the power nodules, I need to take all them out. I 
I would still like to take out the turrets as well, though. Alright, come on, you can stop shooting me anytime now. It's not like shooting me is your sole purpose or anything. Looks like there's a target way out here, wherever it is. Is it just the turret? No, it's not. Or no, it was that. So the radar shows where the turrets are I need to take out, but I also need to take out all the power nodules, which aren't on the radar, but there's a counter for them. That's how that works. Got a few more power nodules there. leave this turret alone. This game is so chaotic. I just can't say it enough. In order to shut down the central core, you must destroy all the green power nodules around the station. I am updating them on your mini-map. Can you see them? Alright, well I got all the turrets apparently. I've already destroyed a good amount of power nodules too. There's a whole bunch right here. Oh yeah. All right, where's the last five? Somewhere in this area. Around the back side? Oh, here they are. We're done here. We could have just escaped, but no, we gotta take this place down. Does that mean there's not gonna be any dread challenges? You did it, Ratchet! Now, come meet me back at our containment area. I have a plan. So yeah, no challenges, just like, what was it, Stygia? I'm pretty sure that was the place that the other place that didn't have any dread challenges. Anyways, we did the grinding chase, grind the gauntlet of doom to get to the station's core, open the grind rail channels to extend the track as you travel the outskirts of the desolate station. Running the gauntlet, run the gauntlet of doom, deactivate the control nodes in order to take down the force field blocking your escape. Prison break, destroy the computer that controls the force field and be the first person to ever beat the unbeatable gauntlet of doom and escape demolish the mighty ghost station located and destroy all orbiting anchors to end the ghost station into a spinning oblivion beware of the station's defenses and as far as skill points go we got over half of them 
We got Friendly Fire, your combat bots must gain 10 kills in any challenge. No landing, destroy 10 dropships. Double Trouble, complete any challenge using only the Dual Vipers. Warming Up, destroy 10 Ghost DZ Strikers with the Napalm mod. Too Hot to Handle, use the Napalm mod to kill 25 enemies in a row. No Medic here, complete any challenge without using Health Crates. Show me the money, destroy five bolt crates, those being the jackpot crates, and put them on ice. Use the freeze mod to freeze 15 enemies in a row. What haven't I done? Mine forever, kill three ghost executioners with the hunter mine launcher. Milt down, kill ten ghost DZ strikers with the acid mod. Death is near. Kill 15 enemies with 5 different mods in 60 seconds. Sharpshooter. Kill 20 enemies with the fusion rifle. The great escape. Complete any challenge without taking damage. Fodder follies. Kill 15 ghost easy strikers in a row with the same weapon. And skill kill. Use the fusion rifle to kill 3 enemies in one attack. So that's stuff we'll have to do later. For now, we're gonna have to head back to Dreadzone Station, but that's gonna be in the next video. I'm the Terminian Hero, and I will see you then.